Good evening. The state television company Western Armenia represents the most important events of these days. Today is broadcast. Tribute to the special forces, Artsakh cannot have future as part of Azerbaijan Armenian Foreign Minister. Azerbaijan shelled Martoni and Shulshi. The data on the victims and the casualties are being clarified. The Artsakh Human Rights Defender presented data on civilian casualties in the form of infographics. Snow in the highlands of Van. The Dresden Symphony Orchestra supports Artsakh. Today is the day of special forces. We do not know them in person. We do not have the opportunity to shake their hand to say words of gratitude. A profession that is the basis of our security, tactics, military success of the army. They do not talk about the problem. They do not talk about the successful task. They do not expect words from us, words of praise or gratitude. But let us use this day of the year as an opportunity to tell them to remain invisible for the enemy. Let the most difficult and unrealistic task be easily solved from your presence and after each task, return to your home victoriously. Read the statement of Bela Lalayam from her Facebook page. Artsakh being a part of Azerbaijan means Artsakh without Armenians. Artsakh has no future as part of Azerbaijan. Foreign Minister of Armenia Zorab Natsakanyan said during the debate of the 2021 state budget draft at the joint session of the Parliamentary Standing Committees. Artsakh had not and does not have any future as part of Azerbaijan. Such situation means Artsakh without Armenians. That will not happen. It is a further highlighted goal, the minister added. He stated that not only Armenia's foreign policy but the national resources are directed to that with all means. I don't think that there is any Armenian who can agree with the idea that our 150,000 compatriots in Artsakh, who today are the defenders of our identity, can be endangered. The foreign minister said, adding that working together is highly important. Azerbaijan used heavy artillery in the city of Martuni. Shushi was shelled with various weapons. The State Emergency Service of Artsakh Republic informs about this. After midnight, the relatively calm situation in the peaceful settlements of Artsakh has been maintained. At dawn, the enemy resumed targeting civilian and civilian infrastructures. In particular, heavy artillery was used in the city of Martuni. The data on the casualties and the victims are being clarified. The State Emergency Situation Service notes. The staff of the Artsakh Human Rights Defender presented in the form of infographics the data of Azerbaijani crimes against the civilian population of Artsakh since September 27. As reported by Armen Press as a result of targeting civilian settlements by Azerbaijan until November 4, a total of 46 civilians were killed, of which 8 were women and 38 were men. A total of 144 people were injured, including 21 with minor injuries. More detailed data is presented on infographics. The first snow of the year has fallen in the highlands of one province of western Armenia due to the sharp change of weather in recent days. The rain in the center of the city turned into snow in the highlands. The Karabat mountain pass at an altitude of 3,000 meters on the Van Bachesarai highway has turned white due to the snowfall. Occasionally thick fog and snow make the way difficult to pass for the drivers. Despite the heavy fog, the rescue teams continue to work with special equipment to clear the snow on the road. The Dresden Symphony Orchestra supported Artsakh, calling the international community to speak up. The statement says that on September 27, Azerbaijan launched a war against Artsakh under the military and political auspices of Turkey, resulting in hundreds of casualties not only from soldiers but also from civilians. Art and culture are perceived by mankind as the most constructive force of human connection and development of civilization. Art transcends physical and mental boundaries and unites us all, proving that we are all equal. Artists in Armenia and Artsakh must now become soldiers to protect their families and neighbors. Now let us represent your attention a song by Makartij Makarchan. <laughs> You can find the whole version of the song in the official page of Western Armenia TV. This was all for today. Goodbye.